So like all other shops by now, you've been inundated with requests to update their vehicles, customers' vehicles with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, if not wired or wireless versions. And if by doing so, you've probably bumped into our feature brand today, which is, of course, RDV Technologies. But today, during our OEM integration sessions, we're going to go beyond the scope of just any old modules. We're going to get downright specific with some applications that are unique to RDV's uh, offering in some very particular vehicles that they have some amazing solutions for. This is CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM, all about RDV Technologies. And it starts now. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. OEM integration, that's what we're talking about today. But we're not just talking about some basic Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity. No, we're going to go much deeper and get you some solutions for some specific vehicles that you might have thought you couldn't work on. Well, we're going to prove you wrong today. We've got product expert Rich Discofani joining us now. Rich, this is kind of like your specialty, right? This is like your jam. You love dealing in these vehicles that it seems that nobody pays attention to, but there's such potential from a from a business standpoint. Why don't you give us a, a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today? So we're going to be talking about today some really unique solutions to add CarPlay to vehicles that you may not have even known existed. Uh, we specialize in catering to some unique vehicles and some very unique opportunities to add CarPlay to vehicles that you may not know you could have done. I love it, Rich. Let's find out some solutions and share and let everybody know that, yeah, there are opportunities out there. But before that, a quick opportunity for our partner, SiriusXM, to remind you dealers out there why you should love it. And when we come back, we've got Rich DiScafani from RDV Technologies, and we're talking OEM integration. Don't you dare go away. Hey, guys. Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and its reliability. People love it. All right, welcome back everybody. Now. Rich, let's get right into it. I mean, you've become synonymous with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Solutions. Why don't we just establish right away the main feature set that any of these solutions that we're going to be talking about for the different applications um, that they all have, and it's kind of standard when it comes to your product. As always, thank you very much, Ben, for having me on. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the feature set of our integrated CarPlay interfaces. So these interfaces add wired or wireless CarPlay, you can use it either way, a wired or wireless Android Auto, front camera inputs, rear camera inputs, and do phone mirroring for YouTube as well. All right, that's a big feature set, especially for those vehicles. And these aren't exactly old vehicles, so it is surprising that some of these vehicles we're going to be discussing today aren't equipped with some of this stuff from factory. But hey, good for us. The aftermarket, that's where we're here to do. So um, I think what we're going to do, Rich, is we're going to start off by identifying a couple key applications. And then from there, I'd love for you to kind of show us the interface so we could share with the, those tuning in kind of that user experience, right? So um, let's start at the top. Why don't we talk about the Toyota interface, which I'm sure is a popular one. Yeah, so my Toyota interface, really, really popular, of course, tons and tons and tons of Toyotas on the road. Um, my Toyota interface covers a really, really broad range of Toyota vehicles with the Touch 2 radio or the Intune 2 radio. Uh, pretty much the radios that have apps on them are the ones that are supported and really, really nice. Um, the Toyota piece is super, super simple. Just T harnesses in behind the radio, uses the factory mic. Um, uses the factory aux for audio input, and it's all done through the T-harness. So you don't have to run to the aux. You don't have to run a mic. Everything's all fully integrated into the interface and the T-harness, and you get all of those features that you want. Wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, your front and rear camera inputs, your phone mirroring, and the Toyota piece is really cool in, in some ways as well. And one of those ways is 
when you select the aux input on the radio, it'll automatically switch you into CarPlay. So you don't have to worry about switching to aux and then pressing and holding another button to get into the interface. Um, as soon as you press aux, it automatically switches you into the interface and you have that option to turn that off if you want. So if you don't want to switch to aux and automatically go to CarPlay, you can turn that off. So a lot of these interfaces have some customizable features in them that allow you to use it in different ways and kind of customize it and tailor it to the way you want it to work on your radio. So it makes it a much more seamless experience and it's a little more catered to the way each individual consumer or vehicle owner wants to use the product. So really nice and versatile, very flexible. And of course, as, as all my other products do, um, when you're integrating CarPlay, they have a three-year warranty on them. No doubt the Toyota piece is going to be popular with the extensive application list for Toyota. We're going to go from really wide to really narrow, or is it? Well, let's talk about this platform, which is Porsche. Now, Porsche, by all means, is not one of those brands that is at the cusp of technology when it comes to the infotainment that is uh, included even in the latest models. But Rich, you've got a solution to update that, well, let's call it less than modern systems in some of the most recent Porsche models, don't you? Absolutely. Uh, Porsche has been notorious for um, lacking in their um, infotainment systems. Uh, they're more of a performance based company. So that's what they've always focused on up until about the 2020s. So throughout the 2010s, all of those vehicles did come with screens, but they were very, very antiquated as far as the technology went, even for, for those years. And we have a beautiful solution to bring those into this current decade and introduce the technology that everybody wants in these cars, but doesn't want to change the radio. So we have this phenomenal uh, circuit board here that goes inside the radio. And this is the whole interface all self-contained on this one board. Uh, there are some T harnesses that plug into the back of the radio into the, in the board as well. But essentially this is the whole interface. And this is really unique because all of the other interfaces have an external module and even the, the prior generations to this product, it was a two piece interface essentially. So you had the board that went in the radio and then you had another cable that connected it to an external module. And, you know, with technology advancements, we've been able to consolidate all of the hardware onto a single board, which really, really makes the uh, user experience very seamless because there's no lag and it's very, very fast and responsive because everything is all built directly onto the board. And because it's in the radio and it's in such close proximity to all of the components as integrating into the uh, speed and timing is really, really nice, uh, really fast. And this product gives you the features that everybody wants. Um, front and rear camera inputs on the Porsche are probably one of the most requested features um, as well as CarPlay, as that's one of the most requested features in the industry in general. But most Porsche owners are looking to not only add CarPlay, but front and rear camera inputs to these vehicles because they're so hard to see out of. And especially on the sports cars, you have a really low bumper, usually a lot of times an aftermarket spoiler, especially on the 911s or like the Boxer and the Cayman. Uh, you really have that low slung front bumper with the with the splitter in the front and the last thing you want to do is damage that so you have the ability to pull up to a parking spot force the front camera on make sure you're not going to destroy your front bumper and turn it off at will so really really nice features uh aside from the wireless car playing wireless android auto the front and rear camera inputs are definitely the most popular out of all of my interfaces adding front and rear camera inputs uh, Porsche really utilizes those inputs more than any other brand. While on the topic of luxury vehicles, we're going to stay with that. Let's talk about Mercedes-Benz, another vehicle that for a long period of time was not equipped with any of these features. Let's talk about the solution for Mercedes-Benz. So Mercedes, uh, we cover a really, really wide range of vehicles and model years. Mercedes, we go back to about late 2006 with the S class and the CL class, and we are compatible all the way up into 2020, 2021, depending on the vehicle. Uh, we have some really unique solutions for like the AMG models, um, which are really unique. Uh, you know, they're built by AMG. Uh, they're a division of Mercedes. 
but they're really the performance division of Mercedes. So we cover all the AMG GT vehicles with this uh, interface. We also cover Aston Martin as well with the same Mercedes interface. And we have um, a bunch of different other Mercedes interfaces that work on S class and all the other models from back at late 06, all the way up to about 2020, 2021, and S-Class, CL-Class, E-Class, pretty much all of the Mercedes range, all of the different systems from uh, NTG 3.5 to NTG 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, even NTG 6 I cover as well. So I really have a really nice broad range of Mercedes vehicles covered and pretty much any Mercedes with a separate screen from the radio, I can integrate into and add wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, front rear camera inputs, and phone mirroring into. All right, so we've covered some pretty unique scenarios here. So just to give you guys a taste of what RDV can do when it comes to supporting you on particularly uh, platforms that you might not see every day or maybe ones you didn't even know there were solutions for. But Rich, what about you're in a situation, you have a customer come in, they want to upgrade um, to a CarPlay Android Auto situation, but they're using an aftermarket radio. What do we do then? So when it comes to aftermarket radios, a lot of them already have the feature sets that most people are looking for and that we're adding to vehicles that didn't have them at all. And those are in vehicles that you can't change the radio, but in vehicles that you can change the radio, you have options like wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto and a lot of radios, and they're not wireless. And people really want wireless. So not only do we have upgrades to make the factory Android Auto and CarPlay wireless from all of your aftermarket radio manufacturers from Alpine, Kenwood, Pioneer, JVC, Sony, Stinger, uh, all of the top radio manufacturers we have covered. Um, this works on all of them. This one doesn't work on Sony aftermarket radios. I have one coming for Sony aftermarket radios, but all the other brands, I can make the, the CarPlay and Android Auto wireless if it's only wired and add video streaming capabilities. YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Sling, Amazon Prime, NFL Network, ESPN, anything you want. So you may think you have all of the possible technology available because you bought the aftermarket radio, but that's not the case. We have an upgrade for aftermarket radios as well. All right, just when you thought we were done and we weren't specific enough on these particular applications, you're wrong, because Rich actually has three very interesting um, radio replacements, but they're like, not just radio replacements. We're talking full out integration kits for three very particular applications, and I'll let Rich tell you all about them. So we have these really, really awesome, not only radio upgrades, but these are complete technology upgrades for these vehicles, uh, especially on the Bentley and the Maserati. Uh, this particular radio is an Infinity radio. This is for the Infinity Q50 and Q60 from 2014 to 2021. And this takes the place of the dual screen setup, has wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, uh, front and rear camera inputs built in as well. And this is really awesome because you could download any video streaming app you want to it. Uh, you can give it a hotspot. You can give it a SIM card. And these are really, really phenomenal because, like I said, these are full technology upgrades. Uh, these also incorporate um, digital climate controls as well as analog buttons on the Infinity. So the Infinity, you can utilize either um digital ac controls or you can utilize the analog buttons on the side just like the factory and then some really really nice features uh especially on the maserati and the bentley is when you're upgrading them that is a really true uh technology upgrade because you're upgrading the factory analog ac controls to full digital so you eliminate the factory analog ac controls completely they are now incorporated into the screen. They're fully digital. They fully integrate with the factory system. So really, really nice, complete technology upgrades, especially on the Maserati and the Bentley, because they're really, really lacking in technology. Uh, the Maserati, I cover the Gran Turismo from 2007 to 2017. And believe it or not, 
the radio was exactly the same from 07 to 17. So can you imagine having a 2017 vehicle with technology that was developed probably in 04 or 05, because that's when the radio was developed. So really, really antiquated technology in those vehicles. And these are huge upgrades for these cars that really bring them into you know the modern era. Uh, same thing with Bentley. Bentley, I cover the Continental Series from 2004 to 2018. And especially on the older side, the 04 to 11, man, those radios were really, really old and antiquated and lacking everything. No Bluetooth, nothing, no basic features, uh, really old looking too. So these radios really, really enhance not only the, the technology in the vehicle, but the looks of the vehicle as well and make them look much more modern and more, you know, 2020s rather than, you know, the... 2000s so really really great products uh three-year warranty on my screens as well which is unheard of in this category of uh large screen upgrades or tesla radios or however you want to refer to them all right we save this part for the end uh, i'm sure um, those tuning in would like an idea of what the interface what the ex user experience is like with your units uh if you don't mind uh, Rich, why don't you walk us through um, some of the GUI or the user interface um, experience that your units provide at this premium level? Thanks, Ben. Really, really happy to be able to showcase uh, some of these features and some of the technologies live on actual factory radios here that I have in the R&D lab. Uh, so basically, this is an NTG5 radio right here, screen and controller that would normally be on the console. So... This is the same exact system that you would find in a C-Class or a GLC or even the newer Aston Martins as well. These are all utilizing the same Mercedes technology. So the same, same radio, same system that you're going to find um, in most of the newer Mercedes. Uh, this is one of the most popular platforms and interface really smooth and responsive. You can see how, how fast it goes through everything. No lag, no, no drama with it. Um, response to your controls and your commands immediately you go into settings um, you could actually change the background and customize the background of these kits so you can put your own picture in there you could load up your own picture from a thumb drive and you could customize your own background there's a, a few generic ones that are preloaded into the interfaces and you could select from one of those but you know obviously you if you want to do some customization you put your own picture in there and you can customize the background to whatever you want. So really, really nice. Um, you have your, your wireless CarPlay and your wireless Android Auto, phone mirroring, uh, media playback from a thumb drive as well, these provide. And then on the second page, you have your front camera that you can force anytime. They have an AV input as well. Home gets you back to your, your factory Mercedes screen. And then of course you have your settings. So really, really nice, smooth, fast, responsive, um, one of the most popular interfaces that I that I sell and support because of all the different vehicles that it covers, um, especially like New Aston Martin. So really, really, really awesome product for that. And we will move on to my Porsche interface, which is um, probably one of my most popular interfaces. Um, it's really kind of a toss up between the Porsche and and. Uh, Mercedes, Lexus, and, and BMW, but Porsche is right up there. It may actually be my best-selling product. And another awesome, awesome product, fully integrated into the touchscreen. So you could use a touchscreen or you could use the right knob, uh, whatever you prefer, whatever is more convenient for you. Uh, personally, I like the right knob preference uh, rather than touchscreen because it takes away the thought process and having to look at what you're touching. So I think that being able to use the right knob is a really nice feature. Um, again, this one has front camera and rear camera input. The front camera you could force on any time by pressing and holding the option button for a few seconds. Uh, this also gives you the ability to change the orientation of the camera view from reverse view to normal view. So this way, if you're adding a front camera, you can always make sure that the right side of the camera is the right side of the vehicle and the left side of the camera is the left side of the vehicle. Uh, these also give you the ability to utilize an HD camera, which most of these interfaces are not compatible with. Um, so these give you the ability to, to integrate an HD camera as well. If you go into advanced features, 
and you go into a hd camera type you have some different options here you have 720p 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second so you have the ability to use an hd camera with these without any problem as well and really quickly i just wanted to showcase the actual um, interface itself which is like i said previously just a board that goes in the radio so this is the um, bottom half of the radio exposed with the circuit board in there that's our board and the ribbons so you can see how nice and clean that that fits in there and mounts in there and integrates with that factory porsche radio no cutting or splicing a permanent modification to the radio at all which is a big thing for a lot of customers they obviously don't want any uh you know permanent modification so that's fully reversible and you could remove it and basically you'd never even know that something was installed in the radio if necessary. And we are going to finalize this clip with um, our Tesla style large screen radio upgrades, which are really, really awesome products. Um, three are warranty on all of my CarPlay integrated interfaces and also the screen upgrades as well. So gives you an idea. This one's another super fast, responsive um, interface on here. So you have your digital climate controls. You have all of the apps that you can run in the background. Um, everything from F1 TV. I'm a big F1 fan. So uh, I like to watch F1 and why not watch it on my radio? Everything from Instagram to Netflix to NHL Network. Uh, which I know is very big for you guys in, in Canada, um, the NFL Network, which is really big here in the U.S. But, I mean, you can use any any app pretty much that you want on here, Sling, Sirius, YouTube, WhatsApp, um, F1 TV, like I said, iHeartRadio. Um, you can download any video streaming app you want to it, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Netflix, um, all right here at your fingertips really 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 awesome solution and three-year warranty on these all plug and play and download any any apps you want um you know even if you want to do candy crush you can do candy crush on here as well so really really cool you see it takes up the full screen so you have your full full screen lit up here with it and um you know same thing with with the video apps you get full screen um, YouTube plays videos in full screen, depending on what format it's in on YouTube, but really, really phenomenal products. That was Rich DiSclefani from RDV Technologies, giving us a full walkthrough of all the products, as well as the experience from a GUI standpoint and just how responsive everything is. Now, if you're interested in anything that's being covered on today's show, make sure you check out the official website, as we'll put it on the screen right here. And if you happen to be a dealer in Canada and you're interested in some of these products, well, you'll need to know to, that you'll have to contact the folks at Importel. The Q, 12-volt Viking. Jaron, I've got some questions for you, man. When it comes to this integration stuff, let's get past the, the old, you know, the, the basic stuff that we know, that you can plug into the USB, get the wireless CarPlay. We are talking today about some very vehicle-specific type applications that I feel many dealers didn't even know about. Yeah, there's certainly these hidden little gems that uh, there's no solution for until people like Rich come along and we're talking OEM integration and I don't think you can get more OEM integration than adding a circuit board to a Porsche so you don't see anything or having the install done, you hand it over to the shop and you get it back and nothing looks different inside the car. I, I don't think you can beat that, but you're adding features that feel OEM to you. So it feels like the car came with your wireless car player, wired car play. It feels like your car came with a front camera, even though it didn't. So I think you can't get more OEM than that. And there's so many vehicles out there where the manufacturers went screen, knob on the console before touchscreens car plays. And there's plenty of those vehicles out there on the road right now. They're on their second, third owner. And people want that car play in the car. They're, it's one of the most sought after things in our industry, I think. And that just ties in great with all Rich's pieces. And the support that Rich provides us is just awesome. If there's anything I've learned today, Jaron, is when it comes to OEM integration, it really is about having the solution on hand when the customer comes through your door and is looking for said solutions. Uh, what recommendation do you have for dealers when it comes to stocking inventory on products like RDV? 
certainly it's going to be hard to stock products for a very vehicle specific solution, but that's where a portal comes in. We're going to keep all these products in stock so they're one or two days away from you and easily access. My recommendation for dealers is to have a piece like the streamer or the CPAA mirror in stock or two in stock, one to show on your board, one to sell to a customer, and then you replenish from there. It's a super easy add-on piece for anyone coming in uh, when they just have wired CarPlay. Wired CarPlay is still being sold in vehicles today without wireless. Uh, so it's a great add-on. Everyone wants to use that wireless CarPlay function, not have to think about taking out their phone to connect or anything to get all their apps on their car. So I think it's an easy, easy add-on and it works with pretty much everything. So you're not stuck with vehicle specific applications. This is a universal application that any dealer can sell. I want to take this opportunity and thank my two guests for coming on the show today, both Rich from RDV as well as Jaren from Importel. And in my closing comments, this is it. This is what is happening right now. We cannot show you guys more relevancy than what we displayed on today's show. RDV has come up with solutions, not only universal ones, which I'll be honest, Jaron said one, this is something that people are coming into your shops asking for. Have it on hand, whether you install it or they can do it themselves, it's undeniable. It's certainly something you must have in stock. Beyond that, the solutions that were presented by Rich today are absolutely amazing solutions that you might not have known about. And I'm sure some of you have learned today. If you have those customers, now know, watch these videos, learn what's going on, learn about the applications that these companies are investing R&D and time into, into developing these solutions so that you, the dealer, don't have to say no. Not only do you not have to say no, you could be the hero for that customer and say, guess what? We have the solution for you. So even if it's something as rare as maybe a Maserati or something as quite popular, like in a Mercedes or in a Porsche, these are the solutions that we've covered today. And I certainly hope that you can take advantage of them. That's it for the CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.